Kobe and Blake from the other kids, and we're going to be talking about uh, this quad and this dirt bike we just got. So, this quad and the dirt bike, they're both, like, they need to be fixed a little bit. So, the carburetor on this one is not getting, it, like, any gas, and it's the opposite for this one. This is getting, like, way too much gas and leaking. So, we need to fix both of them. So, this video is going to be how, how we fix this quad. We'll make another video, oh, like, probably later in the week, and we'll show you how to fix this one. Okay, this is how you would normally start it, but it's not working, so. First, turn the brake on. Whoops. It's a little hard. Then, you turn the ignition on. And then, hit on, or like this, a couple times, sometimes it doesn't work. And you have to make sure the gas is on, which it's on right now, so. And then, you hit this. But, it's not starting. So, we need to fix that. I'm going to turn it off for now so we can fix it. Nothing happens. So, this is like, this, it's like a wrist strap thing. So you put it, yeah, safety strap. So, you put it on your wrist, and say you fall off, it'll pull, dang, it's kind of hard, it'll pull out. And it'll turn the whole entire thing off. It's kind of hard to put back on, though. It's fine. Just and, leave it. I'll just leave it like that. So the carburetor's broken since we're not getting any gas. So we're probably just going to take it out. You can clean it and, and fix it. But we're just going to take it out and replace it with a new one that my dad bought. And we'll, we'll fix it later. We'll fix it later, probably, just in case, like, the one over there doesn't, uh, like, break or anything. Now we're going to back it into the garage or push it since we can't start it. And then we're going to lift it up, and we'll show you how we fix it. All right. Hey, guys, we're back. We just took the wheel and tire off, but it was pretty hard to get them out. So we sprayed the bolts with WD-40. And while, while we were at it, we sprayed like anything else that moves with fluid film. And we're going to use anti-seize so that next time we need to take these out, they'll come out nicely. Now, so in a few minutes here, we're going to take out, out the um, carburetor. Uh, but wait, I forgot to mention one thing. So see how uh, these are rusted? So we used a wire brush to like do this and get the little rust out so you can see. And like... It will go back in nicely. Okay, there are two things we're going to do. We're going to take the overflow hose off, which is right here. We're just going to disconnect that. And then there is a hose clamp. If you guys could see it, it's right back here. Uh, we're going to use a shorty Phillips head screwdriver. It's right there to take that off. Uh, that hose clamp off and this whole carburetor should come out. And then once that's out, we should be able to start um, Disconnecting the lines and then hooking them up to the new one. Hey guys, so this is the old one and this is the new one So everything looks like it'll line up except for the choke one So we are going to take apart both of them and see if it'll work if it's not then we'll, then my dad's just gonna get a new one So we think we may have found the solution. So see this little rubber ring thing so there's no groove, so we're just going to take this out and put it right here. So we took both choke cables off, and we're just going to connect this one right there. Okay. Alright guys, we moved the choke from the old carburetor and put it on this one, and the throttle back the, from the old one onto here. And the hoses we just put back on because they all fit in the same spot. Okay. We put the overflow tube in right here and we push this right back in and that's how easy it is. Okay, whenever you're ready. Hey guys, we just got the new carburetor in and my dad's gonna show you what it looks like. Alright guys, I'm going to start it up. That's on. That's on. Key. 
like and subscribe i would normally drive away but my helmet didn't come yet so please like and subscribe and bye